there guys, this is Jay Watch for Graphic Design, or Jay Watch for GFX for short. And today I'm bringing you a tutorial on a distortion effect, which uh, I have done before uh, on one of my speed ups back on my channel. And I thought others could uh, use it in uh, on the abstract uh, or interface, it goes quite well on interface. Um, so yeah, I thought, I thought I'd sort of show you, you know, it'd be nice. Yeah. Um, this is my first video on TGN, so um, let's get started and hope they like it. Okay, so you want to have your canvas up here, uh, whatever size canvas you're going to be working on. And you want to go to File, New, make sure the background is on transparent, 800 by 800 pixels, and hit OK. Then you want to ha go to Black Color, uh, go to your Rectangle tool, and just draw a uh, rectangle shape then that and we'll just uh, rasterize that layer and go up here to edit uh, define brush preset and I already have one so I won't do that but you'll hit OK um, and we'll go back to our canvas right so then you want to make a new layer and then you want to go to Google or wherever you get your images from and get a picture you want to distort. Um, I have a lady here. Uh, this picture this is going to be my uh, distortion. Uh, so just quickly rasterize that, and then we'll hide the layer. Okay. Then you want to make a new layer in the middle of those two. And then you want to go to brush. Go up to the top here, and make sure it's selected on the square or the rectangle. Select the color to white. So there. You want to go over here to your brush presets. If your brush presets are not there, you can go up to Windows or Windows, sorry, and uh, click on Brush Preset, which is there. Make sure that's uh, ticked. There we go. Which is that? Then you want to go to Brush Scattering. Make sure the scatter is up to a thousand percent. Okay, so that's okay. Then you want to just do this uh, wherever your pictures. There, so mine's there. So I'm just going to be doing mine like this. Just do it all over the place. You want to leave some gaps because that's going to be the start of the distortion. Um, so let's do that a bit more. Okay, I think that's right. Then you want to go back onto your layer, unhide it by pressing the little right. I'm going to make mine, oh, wrong layer, um, make mine a little bit smaller. Okay, like that. Just gonna move that into the position to about there, and then we're gonna right-click and create a clipping mask. There we go. Um, I'll probably just add a few cut from brush, a few more little. Uh, there we go. Just to make it look a bit better. Okay. Then you want to go to your rubber or razor tool. Um, I have some paint. Uh, paint splatted brushes effects. Um, I was just going to uh, like Brush Easy, or that's the only website I go on for them. So I'll leave a link for that in the description um, for downloading brushes. Um, really good. Um, so then, then you just want to uh, go on your scatter there. So we we'll just call that scat. Um, and then we'll just go around the outside and just on the face or on your bit, just hit it a little bit just so it looks like a distortion piece a tiny bit already okay, I'm just going to do it to about there then at the top we're going to do it just to, uh, I'm going to click on the main face itself and just go along that a little bit just like that sorry about my mouse, it's probably a bit loud um, I will be sorting that out soon. Okay, then you want to uh, just drag it up if you've got bits left over. Make sure it's on there nicely somewhere. And then go back to your razor tool. Go back to the uh, top 5, 6 there. Put it down to a hardness to about 4% and the size, whatever big size you want to be. And um, about saying um. Then we're just going to rub out there. So you can 
easily see. There we go. I think that's okay. Right. And then we're just going to merge these layers here. Okay. So this is the woman's head, obviously. I'm going to go back onto the scattered layer. And we're going to go to the rubber again. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, the uh, paint splattered brush, which is this one. Uh, there's various different ones that I have, and we're just going to do this over the top. Okay, that's a good start. Right, so you have these two up here. So on your base layer, and again, just make a new layer by pressing. Uh, command shift and N which is new layer or you can hit this little button down here and then you want to go to make the brush size or however big you want it on this stick with about I don't know 700 ish we go um, then we're going to start painting on there um, first of all obviously we go to our brush because I messed up because I didn't notice the difference yay go me okay so we're going to go on her sort of, uh, or not her, or the colours of which your picture is made out of. So I'm just going to get that there and just dot this around the outside, just like that. Just do this all over your picture. Make it brighter, darker, um, however you want. Just do this. Make it sort of a good dashing round. Um, just do more. This is probably the longer part of it, I guess. Okay. Just change the brush to uh, this one. And inside, of course, as well. Okay, so you want to go back onto your face layer or the top layer. Go to your um, what, eraser tool and just dig in just a tiny bit onto the side of her uh, head so it looks like it's all merged in with the background looks really nice effect um, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to give out this tutorial on YouTube but if I'm not I'm sorry um, I'm sure there could be others um, I haven't checked I just didn't want to speed up for a competition but um, yeah <laughs> okay then you want to go back onto your base layer here and we'll just continue to do a few more little splats oh, a bit of a bigger one, let's put that there um, ok, make that a bit smaller it all look good once it's done so, all good <laughs> ok, it's going to be about done now ok then now you want to go to your razor tool and keeping on this layer you want to rub out very roughly just around the whole of the image make sure it's just everywhere um, in a face well that sounds wrong doesn't it Any, anyway <laughs> yes i um, trying to avoid moving quickly um, that's what she said. Anyway, that's not really a joke, but I'm sorry. That, should, that was sexist. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, okay, so that's your base layer. Then you, uh, as you can see, it's already started to, to distort quite a bit. Okay, just make this more. There we go. Right, then you want to get a texture, or I've got some fractals. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so we just select one of these quickly um, what should we use we try that one it's quite a nice one it's called 3 to 6 and it's that one there wait for it to uh, come up oh hang on, there we go ok so we just drag that underneath everything else um, it doesn't matter if it goes pixelated because we're distorting it so it's going to um, it gives it a nice effect really if it's uh, a bit pixelated so um yeah, <laughs> not too much obviously, but a bit, it's alright. Okay, so we're going to double click on that layer, go to colour overlay, unless it's already this shade. Um, get a bit of that colour, press OK, and go to hue. There we go, so it becomes that colour in the background, it's quite nice. Okay, so it's there. 
Then on the top there, you want to click and then go to curve presets. Um, I always click on that and then I go up here and push default. Mind you, that, that looks pretty cool. It's like demonic, but yeah, anyway. So we go to that and then you want to play about with the line. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to curve lines, literally curve it, I guess. Well, I don't guess, I know, but yeah, until it gives you like a really nice effect that you're that you really like. Um, just carry on with this. It's a bit dodgy. You know, sort of a golden bronzy effect there. Okay. I'm gonna make a new layer, and then you want to go to oh, just close that up. Go to exposure presets. Go to the minus one. Um, and then just drag that up to about plus 10, plus 0 0.10. Put the offset, um, oh god, it's a bit too high. I'll offset to 26 at the end. And the gamma correction, um, I don't know, I haven't really used this in a while. Let's just move it up and down. There you go, that, that looks distorted. There you go, we'll just keep it to uh, 1.15 there. Okay, so now you want to go in front of the back layer, but behind the scat layer. And make a new layer, we can do that. And then through here, I'm pretty sure I've got some nice light effects. Um, this graphics pack, right, it's oh my god, it's just massive. To be fair, I've been collecting it for the past two years. When I reach thousand subs, I'll give it out. It should be about nine gig then, which is pretty big. So if I ever get a thousand subs, that'll be uh, on the way to uh, all of you. Okay, let's just look through here for some nice ones somewhere. Um, hmm. That one looks quite nice. Yeah, so if we uh and again go to that, we're gonna change the colour to something that she has, that sort of colour, and we'll go to hue and select OK and that's on the back there and we just go to screen and we can just put that behind like so just like that and just mess about with that and you want to go up here to filter blur, Gordon blur which is that back there and you just want to hit it to about I don't know, wherever thing you've put in the back. Um, I'll leave these uh, what are they called factuals and stuff in the description so you can um, uh, download them. Um, so that might help, well it will help. Um, and just select OK on that. I'm going to go back to our razor tool and press OK on that and just rub out parts of the waterfall. Okay, and we can just duplicate that over so on and just rub out parts which gives it a very distorted effect there we go it's meant to look messy if it comes out and you've got a clean image then to be fair you've done it wrong <laughs> okay so we've got that here I'm just going to finish off we're going to the big circular tool up the top here put the hardest down to zero uh, make sure it's on a big tool. Ooh, that's quite annoying. Go and we're just gonna go over the face just in some blocks here. We go like that. I'm just gonna turn the opacity down. I'm just gonna turn there we go. I mean you can play about with the curves or whatever you want. Um as long as you like it in the end, that's the main thing. Um yeah, so uh, leave a like. Um, yeah, leave a like. Uh, sub for great more content from the whole TJ and Art team. Um, and I hope you like my first video. So I'll see you guys soon. Um, bye. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path for YouTubers. To learn more, visit tgn.tv.